Ni hao, wo jiao, James. And that's about the extent of all the Mandarin Chinese I know. If you can understand my Japanese videos, you know that I've run into a particular loss of functionality with PowerDirector 7, with Cyberlink's PowerDirector 7. There was something very specific that I was able to do in PowerDirector 6 that I can no longer do in PowerDirector 7. And since I actually paid money for both versions of the software, bought it from an actual store in Japan instead of downloading a pirated copy, I contacted Cyberlink's Japanese technical support and I haven't had a lot of luck getting them to understand the problem. I've heard rumors through other people, well I've heard rumors on the one hand that they understand the problem and this will be fixed in the next patch release and I've heard other rumors uh, basically indicating that Cyberlink or their technical support or at least part of their technical support doesn't yet understand, doesn't yet understand the problem. So I think I'd have a shot, so I thought I'd have a shot at trying to explain the problem in English since unfortunately I don't know how to speak enough Mandarin Chinese or enough Taiwanese to explain the problem. Now, to begin, several weeks ago uh, let's see, several weeks ago in PowerDirector 6 I made a little experimental video uh, where I use the power, uh, not power, the picture-in-picture -picture function to use one picture moving around to hide part of the background video that was also moving around. I'll pick up the camera and give you a look here. The title there is Test, Moving Picture-in-Picture. -picture. And you can see I've got my face covered with a danger sign. And I'm going to hit the play button here. Now you can see my face move around and you can see the danger sign follow my face as it moved around. Now in PowerDirector 6 at least you can do that by modifying the motion path of a picture-in-picture -picture object while the background video is moving. Now that's the key phrase there, while the background video is moving. Let me show you my attempt to do something similar in PowerDirector 7. Now in PowerDirector 7, I created a project here for it already. Let me back up a bit so you can see it. Uh, I've got two clips here. One is a clip of the, excuse me, the big screen at the front of the big camera in front of Yudakcho Station. That screen right there. And you'll notice I'm sort of moving the camera around a bit just to see if I can... Well, basically what I want to do here is take my own video and put it on that screen there. For example, a band that I like a lot, Majo. So what I, wanted, what I wanted to do here was take Modulus video and put it on this screen here. And I wanted to modify the motion path of that PIP object, of that uh, video of my favorite band following the screen around. So it looked like the video of my favorite band was projected on this screen at the front of Big Camera at Yudok Cho. Now, the sound's not so good since I didn't understand the mic settings on this camera yet, but I'll give you a little play here. Okay, now the goal here is to have that video playing on the big camera screen at Yudakcho Station. And uh, this is a camera, uh, sorry, this is a project I previously created from scratch in PowerDirector 7. So I've got the videos down on the timeline here. I've got the big camera video, uh, the Yudakcho big camera video in the top timeline here. And I've got the module video in one of the PIP tracks. Now you can see if I just click on it, 
it appears there in the middle of the screen. Let me wind this forward just a bit. Now as you can see I pretty much got the size adjusted to fit within that big camera screen. So what I need to do here is try to, find a, try to modify the motion path of this picture-in-picture -picture object to match the movement in the background of the screen. So I'm going to get there by double-clicking on the PIP track which brings up the PIP designer and at the very top of this PIP designer is a tab for editing the motion path. So I single click on that and I'm presented with a series of sample paths. Now relative to the object in the background, let me wind this thing forward a bit. Okay, that's a problem there to begin with. Now I'm winding this forward, but the background video isn't moving. So I can't tell if it's in the right place to begin with. Now let me select a pretty much random path to start with. Now the nice thing the nice thing about paths in PowerDirector is that you can add little breakpoints along the, the path. So you can modify the path. You can basically break it in two and, and move midpoints around. So anyways, I'm going to double click on this. So it's motion, well you see this motion thing here, right? This motion path. This is the motion path that I want to edit so that the uh, the module video stays on the big camera screen. I've got this motion path. I can see the motion path. I can see it at Udoctro Station there. Now if I move this uh, slider on the timeline, this one down here, if I move this, the background video is not moving. That is a serious problem. It means that I can't modify this motion path to match the movement of any point in the background. In PowerDirector 7, uh, sorry, in PowerDirector 6, back in PowerDirector 6, when I move this timeline slider, uh, this background video played along, so I could modify the path to match the movement of any point in the background. But I can't do that anymore, not in PowerDirector 7. So, something like this, the test moving picture in picture that I did in PowerDirector 6, there's no way in hell you can do it in PowerDirector 7. So, I move the path along, the PIP video object moves, and the PIP video plays, but the background doesn't move. Now if I hit the, the play button here, I can see the background video move, I can see the PIP video move, but I can't see the motion path anymore. The motion path is gone, so if I click pause, say, if I click pause, and if I move the time sl timeline slider, uh, I can't see the motion path. I can't add those little, those little breakpoints along the uh, along the motion path. These are the buttons that you would do that with. I can't change any of these little yellow breakpoints in the in the timeline path unless I press stop. And when I do that, well, the only way I can get to any of these points is by moving this timeline slider or by using these buttons over here. You can see the, back, the, the PIP object moves, but the background video does not. So once again, I can't make this PIP object follow any, any point in the background. That is a serious case of degradation in PowerDirector 7. This used to be doable in PowerDirector 6. So, in conclusion, since I'm almost up to the 10 minutes here, uh, this was doable in PowerDirector 6. Uh, unfortunately, Cyberlink broke it when they made PowerDirector 7. I would like very much to return this. I would like very much for them to return this functionality to PowerDirector 7, because otherwise it's a pretty good program. It's just annoying when one function that you really plan to use a lot is broken. So that's it.